Hello world and welcome back to another video from Superhero Review. This is Daniel and with me as always is... Maddie, I ran some fun from Superhero Review. Gotcha! You thought that was me, but it's not. That was Maddie. So we decided to go ahead and trick you a little bit. You know, have a little bit of fun because after all, this is episode 199. Which means we are only one episode away from 200. So... Big news coming out for the month of February, and so February means Valentine's Day. February means love and spending time with family and spending time with those that you love. And so, of course, I'm going to be with Maddie. I'm going to be with Mrs. Superhero Review and our family here. And so uh, we wanted to say thank you to all of you that have been watching. Thank you to all of you that are part of the Superhero Review crew. And uh, we wanted to make sure that you get a chance to be part of episode 200. And to be a part of episode 200, we need you to send us either a video or audio clip that talks about, have you had any fun with me and Maddie? Have you had any fun with uh, with Superhero Review or any of the videos or things that we've done? Send us a little video or audio clip and all videos that are submitted and all audio that's submitted will be included in episode 200. So, please make sure you submit those videos and that is to a uh, DC Legends fan at yahoo.com. Again, that's DC Legends fan at yahoo.com. And that link will be in the description down below. All right, now that we've gotten past that, and this is, again, like we said, episode 199, we are now going to talk about the big news happening for the month of February. And that is on your screen right now. We've got. Who are those two? Well, who are those two? This guy right here is Black Lightning, and this girl over here is Batwoman. So we've already got Batgirl, and now we've got Batwoman coming into DC Legends. So is she like out, like superhero? Like super yes, she's out fighting crime and being a superhero and doing all the cool stuff with Batman and Batgirl. She's part of the Bat family, as you can obviously tell. And so up here, we can see that there's going to be uh, Black Lightning and Batwoman both coming in the month of February. So pretty cool stuff here. So as you can see from Stanner, we appreciate WB Stanner uh, and all of the updates that he provides for us. He, she, we don't know who Stanner is. I'm assuming it's a he. Uh, so sorry about that if I'm wrong. Uh, and so uh, like it says here, Black Lightning and Batwoman will be coming to join your fight against Necron in DC Legends in the month of February. We're also going to have Katana and Livewire will both be reworked in the month of February. And for those of you who are who have been complaining and all those squeaky wheels out there, you're going to get your greasing coming in uh, the month of February because Wonder Girl is going to be nerfed. What? What? It's nerfed. Mm -hmm. Wonder Girl is nerfed. What's nerfed? Nerfed is what they did to Deathstroke. So Deathstroke used to be a viable character. Deathstroke used to be a character that you could use in PvP. Death, Deathstroke used to be a character that at one time was a very powerful character in DC Legends. But now he's nothing. Why is he, why is he nothing? Because they nerfed him. They decided that they didn't need Deathstroke anymore. And so they decided to nerf him down to nothing. So he is a completely useless character now. So hopefully you didn't spend any of your real money on Deathstroke. And just like Deathstroke, hopefully you didn't spend any real money on Wonder Girl. Because they nerfed her once and now they're going to nerf her twice. Oh, wow. So this is going to be the super nerf for those of y'all who've been complaining. So hopefully you haven't spent too much real money on this because she, just like Deathstroke, is going to get a nerf. So we will see very quickly how that works out. Bad. Is nerfing bad? Hmm. That is a very good question. I think that should be the question for episode 199. Leave us a comment in the section down below. Is nerfing bad? Is nerfing something that should not be done in a game? Is nerfing like that? Is, is nerfing something that's bad? In my personal opinion, 
Uh, I think that you should probably, uh, whenever releasing a character, you should probably test out that character before releasing them. Uh, and if something happens, then you can submit out or you can send out uh, other characters. Very similar to what happened to Deathstroke, actually. Uh, they had Katana that could very easily take out all of his buffs. They also had uh, Red Robin that was released almost exclusively to counter uh, Deathstroke. But... Instead of doing that and, and going the route of keeping it that way, they decided to nerf him and make him a completely useless character. So nerfing means that you're killing him? Or? Nerfing, it, does nerfing it mean that, he, that you're killing him? Well, it definitely killed him in the meta. It definitely killed him in PvP. He's no longer a viable option whatsoever. So, what is this going to do to Wonder Girl? Uh, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I guess we'll find out very quickly. But Is she good? Is she good? Right now, she was ranked number two, right behind uh, Etrigan the Demon in our last video, if you want to take a look. Matter of fact, that'll be one of the videos that's linked up above at the end of uh, this video. We'll make sure to include who we believe is the top ten currently in the month of January. We'll have a new one coming in February. But in the month of January, who do we believe is the top ten characters in DC Legends today? Wonder Girl, at that point, was number two. Right behind, in my opinion, Etrigan. So, is she good currently? She's the second best character in the game right now. Uh, but, you know, if you're a squeaky wheel and you get out there and, and start to, to, to cry, then uh, they're going to go ahead and take care of it for you. Because, you know, they got to make sure they keep in that cash flow. So, how much do you want to bet that we're going to get a, um, we're probably going to get uh, a shard, uh, a, 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 what are they called, a gym sale on uh, on her shards here or her hero fragments just like they did with Deathstroke so guess we'll find out real soon all right so as we were saying let's get to the characters that are coming in the month of February so we got Black Lightning Black Lightning is going to be a green character which means that he will be able to um, overheal his allies and get rid of their buffs pretty cool I like that uh, his shock will also damage and purge buffs from the enemies and healing his teammates for every buff that he purges from the enemy team. So every time he takes a buff away, he'll be able to convert that to healing for his team. So that's pretty cool. So sometimes you say buff. Yep. Um, and I don't know what that means. So what, it, what a buff is, is that is every time that a character gets something that makes them stronger. Uh, usually a buff uh, can be something like... Uh, they may give heal immunity, or they may give a speed up, or they may give strength up. Uh, they may give any number of things. And so every time that a buff is applied to a character, that improves that character just a little bit. I thought buff means, like, to help the fight. Yep. Yep, that's exactly what they do. They do help the fight that way. Uh, the next one that's going to be coming out in the month of February is going to be Batwoman. And so Batwoman, uh, she'll be uh, able to do... Uh, she'll be able to minimize her opponent's critical damage output, and while the while buffing herself and strength ups, uh, and giving herself invisibility, and so she'll be able to follow up with uh, gadget attacks as well. So, so she's got some pretty cool things that she'll be able to bring to the fight as well. I think that they should make a bat baby. A bat baby. <laughs> so they've got Batman, they've got Batgirl, they got Batwoman, and uh, so yeah, I mean, yeah. But I guess Bat baby would make a little bit of sense, yeah. All right, so the two characters they're going to be reworking for the month of February will be Katana and Livewire. So we don't really have a whole lot of details here that tell us exactly how they're upgrading them, but um, other than the one time that they they reworked uh, the Joker and uh, completely redid his kit, which they said they're not going to do that anymore. Uh, you know, if you have a character like uh, Katana or Livewire, they're probably still going to be able to have their same core values just enhanced. Uh, so in every case so far, in my personal opinion, uh, the majority of the reworks, almost all of the reworks, have been to better the characters uh, for the follow-on month. All right, so here's the big question that we all have is uh, what kind of shards are going to be coming out? So obviously uh, the first ones up here is going to be Black Lightning, Live Wire, Katana, and then Batwoman. So that tells us obviously that uh, Black Lightning is going to be our free character for the month of February. So who will you be able to use for your team? Here is your eligibility list over to the left-hand side. Starting off with Cyborg. Then you've got 
uh, let's see, Sinestro, Cheetah, who's probably going to be one that we use, Bane, which will definitely be one that we use, we've got Batman Beyond, we got Clayface, Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday, uh, you've got uh, Huntress, Superman, and uh, we'll probably be utilizing Superman as well, Supergirl, uh, Firestorm, Martian Manhunter, Silver Banshee, Wonder Woman, Champion of the Amazons, uh, the Suicide Squad version of Deadshot, Harley Quinn, the quite vexing version. Uh, so not the not not the uh, so it's it's the Suicide Squad version of Harley Quinn. Uh, General Zod, Ocean Master, Lex Luthor, the assault war suit version. Uh, Green Arrow, Castaway, which is probably going to be another one that we utilize. Livewire, Katana, Arsenal, uh, Wally West, Black Lightning, and and Batwoman. So. What is our team going to look like? We're probably going to utilize Superman as our uh, team lead. Uh, so we'll have him as the team lead to help out with all of the uh, critical stuff that happens. So he'll be able to draw attention to himself. So we'll have uh, Superman. We'll have Bane. We'll have Cheetah. And probably uh, Green Arrow Castaway. So those will be our team of four that we're going to utilize going into uh, the event. So there's um, Superman. Superman. Green Lantern. A Green Arrow. Green. Castaway Green Arrow. Yep. Castaway Green Arrow. Uh, Cheetah. Cheetah. And Bane. Bane. Those are going to be our four that we use. All right, guys. So let's find out exactly what they did to Wonder Girl. We were just talking about it a second ago. Maddie was asking about what is debuffs and what is, uh, you know, what does nerfing mean? So this is what nerfing means for, for uh, Wonder Girl specifically. So they have increased the number of buffs on the enemy that is required from six to eight for her passive to trigger. And they're also going to reduce the damage that the lasso does by 15%. So, hey guys, your whining and your crying has worked yeah. out once again because they now have nerfed a second character for now the second time. So, hey, uh, I guess if you have unlimited re resources and unlimited funds, then you too can buy every character uh, and make sure that it doesn't matter if they nerf them or not. But uh, for those of us who try to upgrade one character at a time and try to get uh, as many as we can to level 70, that is kind of a hit. That is kind of a, a, a drawback because with her currently being the second best character in the game, now we've got to try to find uh, another way to do it. So I'm sure we're going to get some down votes on this one, and that's okay because a lot of y'all out there wanted to have this nerf. Uh, I personally believe that you should just improve the game. Uh, you know, if you've messed up before, bring out a character to to counter that and even have us pay for it. You did with with uh, with Red Hood and then you still decided to nerf him after. And so uh, fortunately, there was nothing out there that really destroyed the meta. Uh, I, I don't think she destroyed the meta the way that um, the, the way that Deathstroke did back in the in the day. Uh, but, uh, you know, as you know, we're a very positive group over here on Superhero Review. We're going to continue to stay positive. We're going to continue to bring you videos. Uh, it's just, it's a little frustrating. I was hoping they would do something different, but hey, you got your wish. You cried enough, and so now you got exactly what you asked for. So, all right. Nerfed. Nerfed them. Nerfed them hard. Nerfed them good. All right, so in case you were wondering, you heard us say that, in my opinion, she's the second best character in the game today. What does the rest of the top 10 look like? Well, look right up there and you will see a video in the upper right hand corner there that shows you who we believe are the top 10 characters currently in DC Legends for the month of January. We'll have a brand new one coming out in February as well. So, Maddie, this is now episode 199. Is there anything you want to say to people at home before we go? I just want to say thank you so much for staying tuned. And like I always say, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. And drop a like, leave us a comment, and bye. God bless you. You heard her. <laughs>